I'm here at the Parkes radio telescope again. Uh, you can see again the, the telescope in the background. Uh, this is the dish uh, that was famously used in the movie The Dish. Uh, a couple of uh, interesting facts that uh, weren't necessarily accurate from The Dish. No one's ever played cricket in The, the Dish. Um, I imagine that uh, you really don't want to be doing any damage to something that's uh, this expensive. It actually weighs about a thousand tons too. Uh, it's a pretty heavy, um, heavy piece of equipment. Uh, it can spin around 360 degrees. That takes about 15 minutes. Um, on the day, there were some, yeah, you know, there were quite a few factual things in the movie The Dish. Uh, on the day, yes, there were uh, winds of over 100 kilometres an hour. The um, the dish is actually rated to work in 25 km hour winds, not 100 km hours, but given the importance of the day, they decided that they would go ahead and use it anyway. Um, the actual first few minutes uh, of the uh, lunar landing were actually through Honeysuckle Creek, not through here, and that actually had nothing to do with, uh, with problems at this end. It just simply was that uh, the moon was not in the right place for this telescope to be in use. Um, so yeah, it's very fascinating. If you're out this way, definitely come and visit it. It's a fantastic uh, part of Australia and it's got some fantastic history. Uh, so speaking of history, uh, today uh, I've got the Hazelwood 25 year old. Um, very much inspired by the 1920s. Uh, so I'll just read what's on the outside of the box. Jeanette Sheed Roberts, 1902 to 2012, the granddaughter of William Grant, was a true luminary of the Grant family. Her epic life influenced five generations of Grant whiskey distilling, as demonstrated by her opening of the Caninvi Distillery. House of Hazelwood, named after her Dufton home, is a testament to the family's admiration for this remarkable woman. And then on the back, an exquisite range of finest blended whiskies celebrating the vibrancy and elegance of the golden age of the 1920s. House of Hazelwood is conceived by master blender Brian Kinsman with true virtuosity, using the floral ele elegance of Caninvi single malt, the lively toffee and vanilla character of Gavan single grain and further hand selected single malts from the Grant family's private ancient reserves. This majestic and exceptional 25 year old whisky is the most special and rare expression of Brian Kinsman's vision of the 1920s Scotch whisky artistry. Its nose is complex, dominated by caramelized, by caramelized brown sugar and supported by vanilla, maple and soft spice with delicate hints of fresh sawn wood. Its taste is a vivaciously elegant combination of lively spice and vanilla sweetness on the palate. Its long dry finish influenced by new oak casks is delivered with sublime grace. So this sounds quite different to the uh, 21 year old. Um, the 21 year old that I opened um, was done in sherry casks, so I'm not expecting uh, the sherry in this. Uh, and the uh, caramelised brown sugar uh, should come through quite nicely, particularly with the vanilla and maple. Um, so it's similar to the uh, 21 year old, it's come in a very much a, a 1920s styled box. And similarly to, to that one, if I can get it open, uh, you'll see that uh, it's a beautiful bottle. Um, this one actually has a little tag on the side. And similarly also, you know, you've got a square box with uh, cheeks down there to keep the bottle in place. This one, however, has a slip of paper down the side. Um, I won't read the whole thing, there's a lot of writing on this, but uh, the story of a unique inspiration. The genesis of House of Hazelwood lies in the Grant family wishes to pay tribute to its family doyenne, Jeanette Sheed Roberts, 1902 to 2012. 
a rare and extraordinary woman whose spirit inspired five generations of one of Scotland's most famous private distillers, right back to its founding father, William Grant. From her home, Hazelwood House in Scotland, Jeanette Sheed Roberts led a rich and vibrant life. She was possessed of a fine mind known for her strength of character, passion and determination. Across the 1920s, she was awarded a Master of Arts and continued with a degree in law. Now that's actually quite unusual for the period. Being one of the only women in her graduating year, Janet reveled in learning and progress, spending considerable time after her studies traveling the world in the golden age of Art Deco. Across the 1980s, 1990s and 2000s, the family created special Hazelwood releases to mark Janet's pivotal family role, especially her connection to Canindy, opened by Janet herself in 1990. Now there's plenty more on the back. Um, you'll need to uh, get yourself a bottle to read it. Let's get this bottle open. As you can see, I have no table or anything for today. So uh, I just need to put things on the ground to keep them out of the way. So it's a cork bottle. Uh, with a glass top. It it's really is a beautiful bottle to uh, be drinking whiskey out of. Or pouring whiskey out of to be probably more accurate. Uh, with the 21 year old the uh, the whiskey had seemed to climb up the side of the cork. This one doesn't seem to uh, have that same issue. Um, I guess as a reminder there that we should always hold our, our whiskey upright rather than on its side. Yeah, much, much less uh, climbing the walls of the cork there. Okay, well let's get a tasting going. So immediately on the nose it's completely different. That caramelised uh, brown sugar definitely coming through and uh, none of that sherry from the 21 year old. That's completely different to the 21 year old. That um, the caramelised brown sugar again. It's not overly spicy, which is quite nice. Um, some people really just don't like that spiciness in whiskey. And the very long, lingering, woody finish. Vanilla's the whole way through of it. And it's very like I, I, if I actually had to pick between the 21 and the 25, I'd be picking this one. This is a really nice whiskey. Just that, that really nice caramelised brown sugar on the nose there, that's uh, coming through really nicely. And just those gentle spices, nothing that uh, sort of slaps you around or anything, just and then nice deep woody flavours in it. Mmm. No, this is definitely, so if you can get your hands on this one, definitely. Cheers.